far. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. The time before that? And the tin time before that. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Don't tell her I said this, but Khan's the toughest person I know. I think the bullet just made her mad. Tough or not, she's going to need help soon. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates are fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the med bay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think we should do? What do I think we should do? Besides find ourselves a captain who knows how to make decisions? I was asking your opinion. My opinion is that there is no good option. Whatever you choose will be wrong. And it's your fucking job to choose, Captain. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter. Radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. How sure are you? Jeez, after the last few days? I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a pistol grip ratchet and a flex head. <laughs> 80%. New plan. We run for cover in there. Won't work, boss man. Even if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work. If there is actually something there. Stations! Con! On my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn.
5G! 6G! Turning! Now! in the debris field. <laughs> it's your turret! You did it, boss man! Fucking legend! <laughs> Quiet! We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil won't let you down. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. Scanners, I'm picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board, though. Damn. The blast doors to the Laguin are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. Guess that could work. Even tell which ship is which, it's all blasted to for Lota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full on proxy battle. With a Belta ship at the center.
Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hopefully won't need these anytime soon. After this week, maybe keep them close by. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. <sighs> nice toss, Cap. <laughs> Woo! Boss man, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He's... He's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year! He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah. Ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He tough. But... Thought you should know. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta fruit is disgusting. Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and Brass. So the Belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UNN get involved? They figured that whatever the Belters had, it was worth taking. Of course they did. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Good work, Sasata. Boss man, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting?
Cox said those coordinates were valuable, but Cox started talking just to get out of the mess he made. You been near a brig lately? Since you save his ass, Owala never shuts up. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh, yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. Hmm. Another blast door. Pashing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Almost wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. Found another barrel. Woo! This is loaded! Or oh, whatever the Inya say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! I've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. Captain, we're picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. 
There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here! Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. Sabaka! I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. A long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drummer. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants.
You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were... They were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough! I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed. So could you. Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shove off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. There! Well, 
I believe celebrations are in order. Coordinates are set for the MK Core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. I've never had anything resembling a civil conversation with Khan before. But I've also never had a cigar to ply her with. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. I found this cigar on the Urshanabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare so. give it to those two morons. They'd use it as a butt plug or something. First taste, you earned it. <laughs> oh, Pashag. <clears throat> It tastes like burnt kibble. That's your unrefined palate. You need to smoke more to burn away all the taste buds. <coughs> My husband, Bao, used to hate when I smoked. Said it was 40 minutes of pleasure for three hours of cleaning out the air vents. He wasn't wrong. What happened to him? The Pinafore, a small transport skiff owned by Trackman. I was pilot, Bao was chief mechanic. Boring work. Little outside contact. Exactly what we wanted. There'd been reports of pirates along our heading. The usual shit. We weren't worried because... What's the point? And besides, we had our protocol. Protocol? A maneuver we practiced. In case of hostile boarding, I'd feign submission. Hands behind my head. When Bao thought the moment was just right, he'd say the code word and hit the deck, and then... Modified SMG with heat targeting rounds. I could draw and fire the clip in five seconds, easily take out an entire raiding party.
That is actually a solid tactical maneuver. Pirates wouldn't expect a weapon there and Bao would be safe on the floor. I know. So what happened? The pirates came for us like we feared. They boarded the pinafore. I drew them in, got them occupied, and at the right moment, Bao said the word. And I froze. I'd never fired live rounds in battle before, and I suddenly doubted myself. What if the clip was jammed? Would it even fire? Maybe these pirates weren't so bad. It was just a moment, but it was enough time for an antsy pirate fuck to grab me and shoot my bow. I've seen a lot of combat. Prepare all you want. No one knows how they will respond until the moment comes. Bao's death is not your fault. Maybe. Maybe not. Doesn't matter much anymore, does it? Don't you want to know the code word? Artemis. I'd never heard of her. It was Bao who read all the Greek bullshit. Apparently, she and I shared a few things in common. Your ungodly beauty? Fuck you. <laughs> Mostly, you said it was because... I never missed my shot. Tell you what, if I ever get the chance, you bet your ass I won't flinch again. It's good talking with you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. You're right. I can't stand that twangy acoustic for Lota. Typical close-minded belter. If you change your mind, you can give it a listen. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. Particularly the extra feature you included. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. 
Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. If I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Settle it. Bye, settle it. Are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. Maya and Virgil learned a lot of Lang Belta swear words in the past week. Khan seems to already know them all. Whatever Cox was saying about Virgil's past clearly upset him. I need to know what it was about. What's on your mind, Captain? Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. Cox is a habitual liar. First, he tried to murder you. Then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama?
definitely. Fucking finally. When Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying, you're not allowed to die on me, Kamina Drummer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt I give a shit about. Captain, you're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? <laughs> 